Hello, good morning, friends. Hi. Uh, this is Dr. Thirath Gill. Uh, would like to uh, share some information about ECT or electroconvulsive therapy uh, in psychiatry for the use of uh, for the treatment of various conditions. So, um, what is this? Uh, ECT is uh, the production of um, seizures in the brain by the application of a small dose of electricity to uh, both the temples or one of the temples. And um, this uh, induction of uh, the seizure produces the resolution of the symptoms for various ailments. Um, for example, it's an excellent treatment for the treatment of out of control mania, uh, where, where the patient may be at risk for um, medical complications or even death from exhaustion. It's a, a great treatment for treatment of severe refractory um, depression. Uh, a depression so severe where the person has stopped eating, um, they start to sort of uh, withdraw into themselves and uh, are at serious risk for harm from medical complications or from suicide. Uh, it's very effective in those conditions. It's also effective for catatonia uh, due to any cause. Um, uh, catatonia due to schizophrenia can be a pretty difficult state. Uh, they will use uh, things like lorazepam, but those always don't work. And uh, antipsychotics may take a few days and the catatonic patient uh, is at risk. So ECT can be very effective for uh, that situation. Uh, for pregnant uh, ladies that uh, require uh, treatment of a severe you know, depression or mania or schizophrenia, ECT is safe for the mother and for the child. In fact, it's, it's said to be safer than uh, the use of medication, especially for the child. Um, so anyway, these are uh, indications where ECT is an option. And uh, most people don't consider it because ECT has gotten a bad rap over the years. But if you really look at the data objectively, it's a safe, effective treatment. Uh, side effect wise, there may be headache, some amnesia, anterograde and retrograde. There are no structural brain damages. Uh, they've studied this issue and there's no structural brain damage. Um, some persistent memory loss may occur, but uh, usually that is not significant. So um, this is another um, option that should be considered for situations where um, the person is not doing well. It can be a um, it can be a life-saving uh, procedure for them. So, um, that's all for now about ECT. Take care. Bye-bye.